All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and the sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Um, I want to go on this topic, man, about the Holy Spirit was only given and pertains to the Israelites. Okay, um, I'm going to start off with this scripture, um, Isaiah 59 and 19, okay, which uh, it says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord, okay, which the name of the Most High, his name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shah. Okay, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the West. Okay, now when you're going through this word West, it's talking about, you know, the Westernized uh, culture, okay? The Western civilization, okay? Which I have the Wikipedia uh, Wikipedia article about Western culture, okay? And it says, uh, European civilization, Ju Judeo-Greco-Christian civilization is a term loosely used to refer to a heritage of social norms, okay, ethical values, traditional customs, belief systems, political systems, and sp specific artifacts and technologies that have some origin or association with Europe, okay. Now, when you go into America, America, according to the Bible, is Babylon the Great, okay, and a, a lot of the belief systems, okay, it comes from European roots, okay? Like the uh, Christian religion, it comes from a European root. It does not come from an Israelite root, okay? The uh, religion known as Christian, Christ, Christianity is not biblical, Okay, so the political system, okay, it comes from a European root, okay, more specifically Rome, okay. Now, the European roots have the roots also, which stems back to Rome, okay, which the Roman Empire was set up by people known as the Edomites, okay. So the Edomites, okay, they ruled in the Greco-Roman Empire, okay, and a lot of the systems and the beliefs that people have out here, especially, you know, when it says ethical and traditional customs, okay, it all goes back to the Roman, okay, belief system, okay, which the Roman belief system is now uh, equivalent to the European belief system, okay? And America has all these roots that goes back to the Roman Empire, basically, or Europe, okay? It says, the term also applies beyond Europe to countries and cultures whose histories are strongly connected to Europe by immigration colonization or influence okay in america what what's the country that's in europe uh england america speaks english okay you got french and different other um belief systems out here or different languages and stuff like that it says for example western culture includes countries in the americas okay north and south america okay you have uh you know portuguese and you know latin okay spanish all throughout um the uh the the um south americas okay was those people that lived down in that the, that uh area south america and central america they didn't speak uh spanish before the you know uh colonization man and immigration okay so it says whose language and demographic eth ethnicity are okay it says western culture is characterized by 
a host of artistic, philosoph phil philosophic, literary, li sorry, uh, literary, and legal themes and traditions, the heritage of Greek, Roman, Jewish, Germanic, Celtic, Slavic, and other ethnic linguistic groups. Okay, which this term goes, you know, deep, man, and it, you know. Just to, to this uh, topic of Western culture, man, this is a whole nother video, okay? So it says, as well as Middle Eastern Christianity, including the Roman Catholic Church and Orthodox Church, which played a, a, an important part in the shaping of Western civilization since at least the 4th century, okay? So what was people doing before the 4th century? Okay, the Israelites existed way before all these things uh, came about. Okay, the Israelites existed before the the Roman belief system came about, before the Greeks came about. Okay, the 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 Israelites had their own way of doing things before all of these. Uh, ethical values, which we had our own ethical values, traditional customs, okay, like Christian Chris, Christmas, okay, is a traditional custom of the Europeans, not of the Israelites, okay. It says belief systems. We had our own belief system, political systems, okay. We had our own political system, okay. We then, you know, they 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 named this uh court system after. Uh, they call it judicial system, okay, which they try to get that from this Jewish word, okay, but the judicial system, the word ju judicial or Judah, it, you know, uh, uh, that's where the word judicial comes from, okay, which the tr the word judicial is, you know, you sh you, Judah are you so-called Negroes in America, okay, so the political systems, and the other beliefs that comes from out of this place, okay, is is all European, man. Okay, so when they say so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the West, that's talking about all out of all of these European Romantic beliefs, okay, this entire Western culture, the truth of the scriptures. And what the Lord actual name is, okay, is going to be made known, okay, to who, okay, that's a that's a key question, to who, okay. Now, it says so they so they so fear the name of the Lord, fear, okay, and His glory from the rising of the sun, when the when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Okay, so it says the enemy shall come in like a flood. Okay, which that enemy are the so called Edomites. Okay, the people who are into this Western culture. Okay, the westernized mentality. Okay, of the world, those people are going to be coming at. The men who have the spirit of the Lord on them, okay? But it says that they, the, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him, okay? So that standard that is against them are the people that are under the banner of the name of the Lord, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh okay? That aren't, that don't have a westernized mentality, Okay? That spirit that the Lord put on them is against all of the beliefs that are out here in this world, okay? In this society. Now, notice it says the Western not Western world, okay? Because you got an Eastern world also, okay? So that word world, you know, that destroys that whole, uh, you know, the, that the world word world means the whole entire world, okay? Now it says, and the Redeemer. So come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob. 
okay, which Jacob is another name for Israel, okay, the Israelites, okay, so the, the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, which his name is Yahweh he's going to come, okay, to deliver those people who have went and turned away from the westernized culture, okay, and he's going to save those people, it says, as for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord, my spirit that is upon you, and my words which I have put in your mouth, shall not depart out of your mouth, okay, where is that word, that's the, these holy scriptures, okay, nor out of the mouth of your seed, nor out of the mouth of your seed seed, okay, so that's talking about not, the word of the Lord is not going to depart out of the men mouth, out of their children's mouth, and out of their children's children's mouth, save the Lord from henceforth and forever, and that's when the Lord comes back and he destroys America, this whole entire, the beast, this whole system, okay, is, and is, you know, if you go into the book of Revelation, okay, now, I just said the westernized world, I, you know, it's crazy through the spirit. This says right here, the eastern world, okay? Which that's a whole nother uh, scripture in itself also, or, you know, um, video. It's Romans 9 and 4. It says, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption, okay? You know, the, you, you people, okay, once, once again... You people that, okay, you, you, you was into the Western Nas men, uh, mentality, okay? Now you come back into your, who, you're, who you really are according to the scriptures, okay? You, you find out that you're Israelite and you start doing what the scriptures say, okay? Um, it says, and the glory, okay, which our glory is the, the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, and the covenants, okay, the covenants, okay, pertain to the Israelites, I just read that, okay, this is my covenant with them, my spirit that is upon you, okay, the Lord put the Holy Spirit only on the Israelites, that's the agreement that the Lord put forth in this world, okay, it says, and the giving of the law and the service of God. The only ones that can serve God are the Israelites. And the promises, okay, these promises, this is a promise also, okay, that the, 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 the spirit that is on us and the words that the Lord put in our mouth are not going to depart from us or our seeds, our children, or our children's children forever. Okay, so the Holy Spirit that the Lord, uh, that you people say is in the Bible only pertains to the Israelites. Okay, it says, whose are the fathers and of whom is concerning the flesh, Yahweh Sao, the one the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, came, who is over all, God blessed forever. Amen. Right, now moving on. Um, this is, uh, let me get this. This is Psalm 147 and 19. He sows his word onto Jacob, okay? His statutes and his judgments onto Israel, okay? Once again, he sows his word onto Jacob, okay? What do this say? And my words that I have put in your mouth. So the Lord only put his words onto Jacob. And his statutes and his judgments unto Israel, he has not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. So no other nation knows the Lord's judgments. Okay? Any any nation that is not a, of the nation of Israel, okay, there are enemies. Okay? And they're going to come up against the spirit of the Lord. Okay? Um, this is Ezekiel 39 and 25. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Yahweh, okay, it says, Now will I, bring, will I bring again the captivity of Jacob, okay, which the, the, the Israelites are in captivity, 
okay, under the westernized culture, okay, and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel and will be jealous for my holy name, okay? After that, they have borne their shame and all their trespasses whereby they have trespassed against me when they dwelt safely in their land and none made them, made them afraid because the Lord set us up as a nation, okay? He delivered us and he put us in our own land, okay? And nobody made us afraid, okay? Everybody, when you go through the scriptures, Everybody looked at our people, you know, what, you know, what that, uh, they was fearing our people, okay? That's the same way how when these cops look at us, okay, and they see a so-called black man walking down the street, he don't have no gun in his hand or whatsoever, okay? He fears what he can do because that spirit, okay, is still there. Our people were destroying these other people. Nobody made us afraid. They was all afraid of us. Okay? It says, When I have brought them again from the people and, and gathered them out of their lands, I mean, out of their enemies' lands, okay? And when you're under your enemies' lands and you're brainwashed, you're going to follow what the enemy says. Okay? So we... We're coming up out of that, okay? The things that we was a saint of, you know, following after our enemies, and the fact that we didn't do what the Lord said for us to do, and that's why we got in the situation of being under our enemies, okay? That's what we're ashamed of, okay? So that we can get back to who we was before we came over here, okay? And am sanctified and dumb in the sight of many nations, okay? So the Lord... Is setting that standard, man. The, 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 the Israelites are coming back onto the Lord, okay? And they're following and doing what the Lord say, okay? And and, and we're, we're praising and serving Yahweh by Sim Yahweh like we're supposed to, man, because that's what, you know, what it's all about with being an Israelite, okay? It says, um, then so they know that I am the Lord their God, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen, but I have gathered them onto their own land and have left none of them any more there. Neither will I hide my face any more from them, for I have poured out my spirit upon the whole house, I mean, upon the house of Israel, said the Lord God. Now, it says, but I have gathered them into the, onto their own land, and have left none of them anymore there. So what's going to happen is one third of the nation of Israel are going to be delivered out of this land. And two thirds of the nation of Israel are going to be destroyed. America, there's no more people that are going to be here. Okay. Um, Ezekiel 36 and 24. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all the countries and will bring you into your own land. Okay? Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you, cleanse you. Okay? And that goes into okay, the 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 the, the, the agreement that the Lord had, okay? The promises that the Lord is going to give us, okay? The fact is that the word that, you know, in the spirit that the Lord gave us, okay, when it says that the Lord is going to cleanse us, okay, that's that, you know, basically our people that, that die, they're going to come back as our children, okay, and our children's children, okay, and they're going to, they're going to be taught the right way. But the, the, the ones of us who are of the hopeful elect, the ones that, you know, are the one third, we will be uh saved okay and uh we won't um you will be saved because why wow, we kept what the uh what the scriptures say okay we we uh cleaned ourselves okay not uh with the uh you know the the water baptism okay but with the the 
the uh the word man okay uh which this word is the water okay um i'm gonna just go on um ezekiel 36 and 25 a new heart also will i give you and a new spirit will i put within you okay well the spirit that we have this this is not talking about you're going to get a whole new spirit like right now i'm living okay and i'm gonna get a new spirit okay and it's going to be another person that's in me okay no that means that you're going to be clean okay you're going to be clean from the ways that you used to uh be okay you're going to be a new new person okay um and it's going to be like you 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 didn't go off you know like who did you know you was doing that you know i did that you know no nah, you ain't you know if you was eating pork you're not going to be eating no more pork you're going to be a different person okay it says in a new spirit will i put within you and i will take away the stony heart of your flesh and will give you a heart of flesh okay and i will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you shall keep my judgments and do them and you shall dwell in the land that i gave to your fathers and you shall be my people and i will be your god so the holy spirit okay our people walking in the law, statutes, and commandments that the Lord gave us, the judgments, and doing them only pertains to the Israelites, okay? There's no other way around it. Ezekiel 37 and 25. And they so dwell in the land that I gave unto Jacob, my servant, okay, which are the Israelites. It says, wherein your fathers have dwelt, okay, and they shall dwell there, and even they and their children, and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Now, David died before this Ezekiel came out. Okay? Now, you have people that live in the land of Israel right now who are saying that they're the biblical Israelites. But they're not the Israelites. Okay? Where is David at? Okay. Um, moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them, and so be an everlasting covenant, and I will place them and multiply them, and I will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. My tabernacle also shall be with them. Yeah, I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And the heathen shall know that I, the Lord, do sanctify Israel. When my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. Okay. So. The fact of the matter is. That the Holy Spirit. That people think that they have. Okay. What's the word holy. Means truth or set apart. Okay. The, 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 the spirit. Okay. That the Lord gave us. Is his chosen people. Okay. Is only given to. The Israelites okay it's not given to everybody okay so with that man you know hopefully this uh, lesson was uh, edifying I want to say uh, subtle warm till next time